hey guys hello and a very warm welcome back to my channel avan anjo so this is a short video for all of you for all the people who get intrigued by the topic of the moment of wind subtropical high subtropical low all of these concepts so this is a video that is going to make that topic completely clear to you and in a very very easy language so without any further ado let's begin so here i have made a structure or a diagram of earth okay so this is representing the various zones of earth of course we know in the middle there is equator where the vertical rays of light of sun vertical insulation is received by the equator then we have tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn at 23 and a half degree north and 23 and a half degree south respectively then we have the temperate zones here and in the end finally towards the poles we have the frigid zone frigid frigid zones sorry so this is arctic circle and this is antarctic circle here we have the south pole here we have the north pole okay so this is the basic um representation of various zones of earth we are very much clear about it now let's understand how does wind moves okay so wind let's start off with the equator as i know that the sun is going to directly give rays okay so uh, i can draw here also the rays are going to come directly from the sun onto the equator okay so now all the sun rays that are received by the equator makes it a warm place as compared to the other zones of the earth now because of this warmness the air here starts to rise as we know that the hot air rises cold air uh, it sinks because of the compression hot air rises because of increase in the entropy entropy means uh, the movement of particles is increasing okay and because of that it rises now if this warm air rises so it would rise till 10 to 15 km you can say till the uh, end of the troposphere okay now what would happen is that this wind would start to move okay towards i have just made this much okay and the similar thing is done is happening here also so i have explained it only in one part you can draw the same in the other parts it's completely the same so now i'll focus more here okay so now the hot air is traveling in both the directions here it is traveling towards 23 and a half north and 23 and a half south respectively now it is moving towards tropic of cancer okay this is the subtropical zone now if it is moving here so now what is happening from the other side what is happening here it is north pole here it is the frigid zone okay now the cold air or the frigid air is going to be coming from this part as well now since i have represented this in the green color and this has been represented in the red color since both of them are coming they are going to meet at this point that is the subtropical region now because of this what is happening is that since they are meeting there is a convergence of the hot and warm air that's the reason a high pressure zone is created in the subtropical region hence this is called as subtropical high the reason for the creation of low pressure here was simple that the air is rising and there is a low pressure that is created which causes rainfall in this region similarly um we have seen that the frigid air is coming from here and the hot air is coming from here and they both are converging in the subtropical region hence it is called as subtropical high with a high pressure now what is happening in the frigid zone now since um this air which gets converged here it starts to move in both the directions again now these are surfacial winds because they are not moving at a height okay now they start to move like this and hence a loop is created here a cell is created here some amount is going here some amount is going here but you can make this out why i represented this with a different color the reason being that it is neither hot sorry neither hot nor cold okay it is like a mixture it is not that hot because of the convergence hence i have represented it with a different color now as you guys can see here that this particular loop created here i think it is not visible but it is 
हार्डले सेल ओके एच ए आर एच ए डी एल ई वाई हार्डली सेल ओके सो दिस इज नोन एज हार्डली सेल दैट इज वॉट इज दिस रीजन इज कॉल्ड दिस पर्टिकुलर लूप इज कॉल्ड एज हार्डले सेल ओके नाउ वॉट इज हैपनिंग हेयर अगेन हाई प्रेशर इज क्रिएटिंग नाउ द सम ऑफ दिस एयर इज गोइंग हेयर ओके एंड इट गेट्स राइज नो दिस इज कंपेरेटिवली हॉट ओके एज कंपेयर टू द एयर दैट इज देयर इन द फ्रिजिड जोन सो दिस लीड्स टू इट्स राइजिंग एंड हेंस इट क्रिएट्स अ लो प्रेशर जोन इन दिस एरिया एंड दिस इज नोन एज स पोलार लो ओके सो आई होप दिस पर्टिकुलर टिल दिस पर्टिकुलर बिट यू वुड बी एबल टू कैच अप एंड यू वुड हैव बीन एबल टू फॉलो अप now if it is okay then let me just tell you one more thing that this loop this part of the loop is called as feral cell f e r r e l feral cell okay so this is how the movement of air is there and this is how the various pressure zones are created similarly it is happening here also so as a revision i will just draw it here so here the low pressure zone is being created of course in this whole region low pressure zone is being created this hot air is traveling here and from the frigid area we are getting cold air also okay both of them condensing in the subtropical uh, region and again here it is a high pressure zone that would be created and then in this area a low pressure zone would be created why because some of the air is going to travel here also some of the air is going to travel here okay and this this again rises up and creates a low pressure zone similar to what we have done here okay so i hope you understood the concept well if you are still having any kinds of doubt any kinds of queries then you can ask me in the comment box below so this is a very short video to make your concepts clear if you haven't subscribed yet just go and smash that subscribe button to get free content so i hope you understood it well of course Okay so thank you so much guys and have a very nice day just go subscribe like the channel share it with your friends who need it